You're in Braves country. Good morning. Welcome to Braves country. Got to get this thing rolling. Had a couple of recording errors. You would not believe the morning I've had. I'm going to attribute it to the fact that I'm extremely tired. Uh, obviously, we do the show in the morning, the morning show, but that's got nothing to do with it. Yesterday was tax day, and I uh, got very little sleep in the last seven days, working a lot. And uh, anyways, tax day is over with. Do it to work today. So let's, I, I, I'll get back in the swing of things. We'll be all right. Who's all right? The Atlanta Braves offense. What the hell was that last night? They get into the bullpen because Walker gets injured. He only gets it through three innings. And what the hell happens? What the hell happens? Well, he, he runs. We do he hits? Three hits, one run. Against a, against, excuse me, Mets. Bullpen has been absolute garbage all year long. The Braves lose three and one. Wayne Foley gets the win over Max Free, which is absurd because Max pitched a hell of a game. He came out of the game. Everybody knows that. They saw it. It appears that it's just a hand cramp and he's going to be okay. So they fully expect him, as of right now, to make his next start. We wish him the best. What's the big news today? In Braves country, if you haven't learned how exciting this is this, Tucker Davidson makes his major league debut today for the Braves. Actually, I want to say he he came up um, before in a very a very minor role out of the bullpen. He's going to make his first start for 2021 going forward. They're going to be out with him for two months because he broke his damn hand. If you're watching this, you probably already know that. Punching the bench, if you didn't see that, you didn't hear about it yesterday, he's on the IL. Punch the bench because he had a bad outing on Sunday, so he decided to make it worse and break his throwing hand. So best case scenario, it will be the... All-star break before you see Noah back in the rotation. We already know the stroke most likely won't pitch. In a perfect scenario, maybe he's back sometime in September to help out, even if it's in a bullpen capacity. But that's a lot of ifs and buts, and you can't carry your team through that. You got to say, bare minimum, he's going to be out three months. It takes you in June, July, and mid to late August. And then you have to get rev- revved up. It's so you just got to pretty much assume that he's not going to play. You get something out of him, great. It's like a, it's like a late addition of, of a trade that comes through. But you got to go forward. So Davidson gets to know him tonight. Um, the scoreboard real quick in the National League East, the Braves lose three to one. The Nationals lose seven to three of the Cubs. Phillies and Marlins begin their series today, so they did not play the standings at a real quick look. Next in the division by a game of four over three over Atlanta. Atlanta's lost six of their last ten. A two game losing streak here with the game losing streaks again. And they're in trouble, and so they're going to the kid, and they hope to get a solid outing, outing from him. It looks like the Mets, unless they pull someone up from their system, but the system, it could be a bullpen game. So, it's a match here with the, with the Mets and the Braves going for a big game, too. If they can get this W, Ward's going to push back to wins, uh, excuse me, wins these games, the, the third game of the series, which takes Smiley back to the fourth game of the week, first game of the Pittsburgh series. And so that tells you a lot about how they think and how much confidence they have in their two starters that they spent $26 million to bring in when they been pushed back from a rookie. So take that with what you, what you will. I'm, t- I'm saying they don't want Smiley to face the Mets. And he has pitched well. They want to get, get him a little more confidence going up against the Pirates. And they're just basically saying, Morton, you got to step your damn game up. You got to. 
Maybe we, we give you an extra day off, but you've got to pitch better than what you've pitched because you've been terrible so far. I still believe in Charlie Morton. He always pitches better later in the year. But we don't have the luxury of waiting for him to turn it on. He can't be the fifth best starter in our rotation. He's got to be the first or second behind possibly Freed and Anderson. So third, third at the worst. So tonight we that's that's what we have going on there. Braves Mets. It's going to be a seven twenty start. I want to get into their lineup and what a disaster the lineup has been. It's time to get these guys who swing at the first pitch broken up. You've got Acuna, Freddie, Ozuna, and Ozzy, and they all just swing freely like it's batting practice up there i'll get the next one you only get you usually get four at bats a game and the way that they've been hitting three at bats a game because no one's getting on base we saw it last night in the loss they, it was three to one freddie miraculously walked he's normally the one ambushing he walks to get on First, with one out, Diaz had not hit the strike zone. Even before that, Acuna was up, remember, and he was up 2-0, and he swung at a bozo slider out of the zone that he dribbled for the first out. So that was a wild swing that got you into the first out. How the hell Freddie was the one that didn't ambush, I don't know. The, it, I, I guess the pitches were just that clearly off the plate to him from the jump. So he watch, walks on four pitches. So what you have is a situation when you're down two runs, a guy on first, the first seven pitches that were thrown were out of the strike zone. So the slider from Acuna, it was borderline. So we'll just say six of the seven first pitches. We'll just say that. A guy on the ropes, a guy who has struggled. Azuna's coming up. Your $64 million man. What does he do? Terrible approach to the plate, swings wildly at the very first pitch because he's hoping he's going to run into a fastball right down the heart because he just walked. I know, I know what he was thinking. That's not what he got. He swung at a crap ball, a weak fly ball. So I'm going nuts. I'm like, are you serious right now? Ozzy Albies comes up. The same damn thing. A weak flick of the wrist. We went from got something going, two pitches later, game's over, good night. We'll see you tomorrow. It's embarrassing and pathetic, and they've got to break it up. So here's what I've got real quick. I want a Zuna sitting at, at the top of the order because – you can't rely on him to be any kind of anything but the electric hitter that he is. So you just let his talent do his thing. He's he's not polished enough to be down deep in the lineup and work the counts and all that kind of stuff. He is not Juan Soto. Okay. He's, he's a special talent, but he does not have the ability yet to work the counts and be the RBI guy. So it is what it is. Hopefully he grows into that over the next few years. Juan Soto is a special kind of hitter that can do that at a young age. I'm not even downing Acuna at this point. He's just, he's not Juan Soto when it comes to a polished hitter. But he's an incredible talent. So you want them to face him as much as, you, as possible. Might as well have, have him lead hit off. I want Heredia starting in center field and hitting second. He's a hitter's hitter. He works the counts. He finds a way to get on and he hustles. What about that double he hit last night? He finds a way. Then you put Freddie at third. Because in a perfect scenario, Acuna gets on. Heredia is going to do the little things to at least move him over. You've got him in scoring position now with Freddie at the at the helm. At the at the plate, excuse me. And at that point, 
you got to figure, okay, well, who am I going to put at the, at the fourth hole? I'm not doing a Zuna because I'm not putting them back to back Freddie and Ozuna because they like to swing at the first pitch and you're letting these, you're bailing these, these hitter, uh, these, uh, starting pitchers out. We were routinely in the seventh inning and we're seeing guys with only about 60 or 70 pitches. It's, it, it, it's ridiculous. So I say it's time to put Riley up there and put Azuna right behind him. Until Azuna wakes up and Azuna's back gets more lethal. He's just, he's too easy of an out. He's hitting 211 right now. His sluggo is 342. That's ridiculous. For your power hitter, slugging percentage to be 342. So give me Austin Riley in that position. And the reason why I say that is because I want to be able to bust these guys up. Have Austin Riley, he's hitting better. If Azuna picks up, fair enough, we'll put him back there. But right now, give me Austin Riley. And then I'll be honest with you. I think Ozzy deserves to be up over Ozuna at this point. So give me him in the five hole and Ozuna in the six hole. As, as Ozuna heats up, I'm fully okay then moving up the order. You can always flip-flop Ozuna and Riley if you like the matchup better and if you like the way Ozuna starts coming out of his funk. But as of right now, he's nothing but a dead out. Number seven in the batting order, I would say Swanson at this point. But if Contreras continues to impress, I wouldn't have a problem with, with putting – uh, him all, all the way back down to the bottom of the batting order. Swanson. But for right now, I'll say Swanson at the seven hole with Contreras at the eight or Mathis, whoever's starting. Remember, Mathis is a is not a good hitter. He's there for his defense. Um, they 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 want a more of a, of a of a veteran presence there. And so that's why Jackson isn't there. Jackson's a, has a little higher upside but I think they're trying to get him in tune. Maybe, may, maybe there's a plan to bring Jackson back when they, when they have a little more confidence in him. But right now we get, we got Contreras starting in most days and Mathis being the backup. I say Mathis is definitely the eight hitter every time. He's, he hasn't even got a, a base hit yet. And then Contreras, you could, you could flip that up, flop that with uh, Swanson. And I'll tell you what, I wouldn't be opposed to sometimes putting the pitcher at the eight spot. And if you wanted to move someone up higher in the order and put like a ready at the eight, at the nine spot or even Swanson, whoever, because it prevents the easy last out to end your third inning. If, if your offense is starting slow and you open up the door to someone like a Heredia or a Swanson or whoever can get on base and then Acuna's up and you're stressing. It's all about the stress pitches. The more pitches they're stressing over, the quicker you can get into the bullpen. And most of the bullpens right now are pitching terribly. We know that firsthand. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, big day today. It's Tucker Davidson Day. I'm looking forward to it. Go Braves. We'll see you manana. And we have got to get a win. This is a must-win game. You don't want to lose the series at home to the Mets. Go Braves, baby. We'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. You're in Braves country.